Now let's demonstrate this in the lab. We need to configure Nexus 1, 2, and 3 as following. Nexus 2 will be the NTP server using NTP master command. Nexus 1 and Nexus 2 should be NTP clients for this server. And they will be NTP peers with each other. Before we start, let's make a time difference between these switches. I will make Nexus 2 different than Nexus 1 and 3 in a few seconds. To do that, I have to make the clock protocol to be none. So let me show you. Show clock. The time now is sourced by NTP. Okay. Although I don't have any NTP running configuration. Show run NTP. Nothing, right? The feature is enabled and you can see it by show run all a grip feature NTP. Now you can see the feature is enabled. Okay. Now what I want to do is to make a time difference. So clock protocol, you have three options, none to sit manually, NTP and PTP, right? So I will make it none in all of them. Let me configure this in all of them. Then use show clock. Clock set to two, make it 16, 30, 25, October. Okay. Okay, let's apply this in other two and then wait a second or two, then apply it here. Okay, so again, show clock right now. Difference between Nexus 1 and Nexus 3 is negligible the same seconds right 22 16 33 and switch two we have two seconds 35 here okay now let's make nexus 2 an ntp source feature ntp it should be enabled yeah ntp is already enabled as i mentioned by default it is enabled ntp master specify a stratum number, I will make it uh, one and we'll use loopback zero NTP source interface, source interface, loopback zero. Okay. Show run NTP master NTP source interface loopback zero. Nexus 1 and Nexus 3, we have wrong time, right? Two seconds difference. We need to sync this with the uh, NTP source, which is Nexus 2. Show run NTP, we don't have. Okay, NTP is enabled as I mentioned. Now NTP server, since we used NTP loopback 0 and Nexus 2, we have to use this IP address. 10.0.0.2 as the NTP server IP address. So 10.0.0.2. We can use prefer if we have more than one NTP server. Or we can use use VRF in case we are using non-default VRF. Okay. Let's configure this command in Nexus 3 as well. Here also, I would like to source the NTP packets with loopback zero. So NTP source, I can use 10.0.0.1, which is the loopback zero IP address, or I can use source interface loopback zero. Okay. I will configure these commands in Nexus 3 as well. Now show NTP peer status. 
I have to configure the clock protocol back to NTP. I forgot to do that. So clock protocol NTP. Okay. Here. Let me do it here as well. And here. Show NTP peer status. This is Nexus 2 IP address, the NTP server, and this is the local IP address. We need to see selected for sync sign, which is the asterisk. Okay. Let me see again. Sometimes it takes a few minutes to do that. Let me see here. Show NTP peer status. I have it here as well. And if I check the clock, show clock, here we have 22, 22, 22. I think they sync the time. Let me check the status now. Pulled in client mode. And we should see it selected for sync in a few seconds. Here we go. So now Nexus 3 synchronized with the server. The time is the same in all switches right now. Now let's configure the NTP peer between Nexus 1 and Nexus 3 and use the authentication. Starting in Nexus 1, NTP authentication key Let's say key one, CCIE DC. Before CCIE DC, we have to mention MD5, right? MD5 CCIE DC. Then NTP trusted key, key ID one. NTP peer 10003, which is loopback zero in Nexus three, key ID one. NTP Authentication or authenticate. One MD five CCIE underscore DC NTP trusted key one NTP peer ten zero zero one key one. NTP authenticate. Show NTP peers. Now we can see we have 10001 as peer and 10002 already a server. Show NTP peer status. Can see 10001 here as NTP peer mode active. Okay. We can check the authentication using show NTP authentication keys. You can see we have one key, key ID one, and this is encrypted. Also show NTP authentication status, authentication enabled. Show NTP statistics. We have multiple options, input, output. You can see how many packets received, packets sent, dropped, ignored, etc. Show NTP statistics. Let's say peer 10001. I think I have to put IP address. Here we have remote host, local interface is look back zero interface IP address time last received time until next send reachability and some other statistics okay the most important thing is that time was two seconds difference and now it is exactly the same so let me check that again show clock time here 22 27 57 
and in the source 22 27 57 here the same the end of this lecture i hope it was useful thanks for watching